Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, I'm gonna share with you two Samsung applications where each one has a super powerful feature. Now, did you know that Samsung has its own Samsung email application where you can merge all of your emails into one app? And it's also perfect for anybody who needs to have that exchange email put somewhere for all of that security features. Also, when it comes down over into Samsung internet, there is a feature that's built inside of here that you can listen to YouTube and YouTube music in the background where you don't need to have the premium subscription. Now, I know in yesterday's video, I talked about this, but there's a few additional things I wanna share with you and also share with you exactly which version of Samsung internet you need to have. Now, let's first start off with Samsung email. Now, when it comes down to Samsung email, you'd be able to find it inside of the Galaxy Store. Now, this was something that I have used for seven to eight years when I was working a corporate job, a normal nine to five. I had to have this one because it supported Exchange. Then I also threw in there my Hotmail as well as my Gmail, and you're able to get it all in one place. And it also gives you some pretty cool features when it comes down to getting and receiving your emails. So all you have to do is go inside of the Galaxy Store, search for Samsung email. Now, once you get that installed, then on the top left-hand side, this is where you can add in more accounts. But when you download it for the first time, you open it for the first time, it's gonna ask you to just choose and input your email that you would like to use. Now, let me show you all the emails you can place in. To do this, you go to the very top left-hand side, you tap on those three little lines, and then you tap on settings. Now inside of settings, I did scroll down just a little bit because I don't wanna show all my emails, but they're actually just right up here above this add account. So if you go to add account, this is where you can see which type of emails you can add in. You can add in any of your Gmails, your Yahoo, your Hotmail, your Exchange, Office 365, and other. Now, once you put in all of those emails, you can have them all in one place. Now, when it comes down over into, let's say, the regular Gmail. Now, on the top right-hand side, I can flip up and, and switch between all of my different emails that I have. So I have, you know, four different ones that I use. Now, it just happens to be, with this one, I can just have them all in one place and all shown in one screen. Or I can choose each one individually to only show those emails. Now, you can manage your folders. You can change the view if you want it to be standard or more conversation. You can change it to dark mode or basically how it's matching up. You'd also be able to change your swipe actions, which this is some of the stuff that I like. Now with this one, when it comes down to Gmail, if you swipe over left or you swipe over right, it gives you only one action. Normally mine is set up as unread, so I can switch it to unread or delete. Now for this one, I have it where if I swipe left, it'll be forward, reply, reply all in unread. It just kind of made sense to me. And then swiping right, it is delete or mark as spam. So if you do a lot of that stuff where it comes down to changing it, moving it, whatever, uh, these swipe actions is something that you might like. And here's all the different options you can use. And you can have up to four of them per each drag, meaning if you drag it left or right. So if you move it a lot, you can do that. You can create an event from it or create a task. You can snooze it, save it unread and the rest. Then you can also auto fit the contents. You can shrink, shrink your email content to fit the screen. You can go through your notifications information, uh, app icon badge counts. You can go through here and you can have it for the unread emails or the new emails. And that's the other thing I like about this is when you get a whole bunch of emails, instead of having it show everything, you can have it show only new emails. So you know what you probably have to, you know, work towards. Then you can add in some spam addresses. You can use split view. Then you also have a translator if you would like to translate uh, some of the emails that you get. Now going back a page, this is just the look of my inbox for all of my accounts. Now, when you look at all these down right over here, they're, they're kind of color coded. So this one is my Gmail, that one is my Hotmail. Now, when you open this one up and you expand it on the uh, top left-hand side, so this screen here, I'm gonna blur out just a little bit, but this is where you can choose if you want it to show one specific email or the other or all of the accounts. This is where you can have it show all of the everything on the inbox or just the unread. So when you take a look at it, this is everything that is unread, not just everything. Now scrolling down, taking a look at the rest that you have, you have VIPs, anything that you have starred or flagged, you can have it show right here. If you wanna see all of your drafts, 
You can take a look at all of your scent. Here's your trash. And then you also take a look at your spam. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video or if you have learned something new, please consider hitting that like button, hitting the subscribe and leaving a comment below. Sharing this video does really help it reach more people and supports the channel. Let's try to get up to 1 million subscribers. And thanks for watching. Now, how about we take a look at what one of these emails could look like? So going inside of here, one of the cool things that I have set up is where it doesn't show my images immediately. I can just go directly over into the email. But if you want it to show, then you can show the images. And so that is one of the little features that you have. Now, also, when you open up an email, these are the options that you have on the very bottom. You have reply, reply all, forward, delete, and then you also have more. Now underneath more, you'll have open uh, or mark as spam, mark as unread, add to VIPs, translate email to English, snooze, move, print, uh, save email as file and create event. Now let me show you what happens when you swipe. So this epic game, I don't really need, so I'm gonna swipe it over and then I can hit on delete. Now this email that I have here, I can swipe it over this way and I can mark it as unread. So if you wanna go through all of these, you can have forward, reply, reply all or read. And for this one, uh, I have it set up as delete and mark as spam. Now, if you go right here to the compose new email, this is where you can put in where it's going to and then also because I'm looking at my, my inbox as all of my accounts, this is where I can change it from which email I want it to come from. And now moving on to the second Samsung application. Now I know I talked about this one yesterday, but I think it needs more attention. This is a super underrated application and it gives you some powerful features that again, no other browser will give you. And it gives you some powers with YouTube and YouTube music and other websites that you don't have to have premium for to listen to stuff in the background. Now let me share with you first, this is where I'm gonna show you the Samsung internet. This is the one that you have. I have Samsung internet beta as well. And I like this one better because this one was giving us all of those features before Samsung internet ever did. Now, when we take a look at the latest updates from Samsung, the Samsung internet browser was just updated today, October 29th. The version is 290059. So I just want to share with you this, just make sure that you have the latest version of Samsung internet browser by going to your galaxy store and updating it. Also, what you might have to do is if you go inside of your Samsung internet, you might have to head over down to your little three little lines on the bottom, head into the settings, and you might see that there's an update sitting somewhere over here that you have to confirm it again to get you the latest version, which again is 290059. Now, once you have this latest version, you'll have all of these features that I'm about to talk about. Now, let me show you what Samsung Internet Beta is, just in case if you wanna get this one instead. Now, where you can download the beta of Samsung Internet, which gives you all of the features first and even a better you know, look when it comes down to a new home screen. So this right here, this is what happens when you tap on new tab. It looks so much better than the original Samsung Internet. You can just go through here and it's, it's really cool. Anyways, you can find it right here through apkmirror.com. Now I'm trying not to talk too fast, uh, but if you want the beta, you can go to apkmirror.com, scroll down and find the Samsung internet beta. It'll look just like this, but with the word beta behind it, if you wanna have the version that I have. Now you can see that the regular Samsung internet, which is the one that you have stock on your phone, was just updated today, October 29th. Again, 290059, that is the version you want. So let me show you what you can do right now if you have the latest version of Samsung internet, the regular one that is stock on your phone. Open that thing up, head down here on the bottom right-hand side, tap those three little lines, head over into settings. Now scroll all the way down and you go to useful features. Now I am running on Samsung One UI 8, Maybe that is a thing, or maybe it's just you, the latest version of Samsung internet that gives you this. Once inside of useful features, turn this on right here, background play. Originally it is turned off. So let me show you what it looks like when it is turned off, which this is just the normal stock. This is what's happening to you. Let's say that we go inside of videos. I tap on this one and you can see that I have an ad that's being played. So because you saw that ad, that is proof that I don't have premium that is attached to this right here. So I'm watching the video. Once I close out of it, you can see that icon is there and then it's going to disappear because it's closed and you can't even hear it. If I swipe this down, you can see that the player is not there. So when you go back inside of the Samsung internet, let's say that we hit on play. I'm gonna go over here. I'm gonna go back inside of the settings so I can turn on the useful features. 
background play on. And actually, you can see it even stopped even going through the settings here. So I'm going to hit on play. I'm going to close out of it. That icon is still there, and you can still hear it. Now, when I pull this down, you can see that it's still playing. You can see the timeline. You can also see the pause button. Now, when I go over into my uh, lock screen here, you can see that with my tab on the bottom, it's still there. Let's say that I go right over here. It is still there. If I open this up, it's still playing. I can also interact with this. I can play it. I can pause it. So this is how you're able to watch a YouTube video in the background, even if you were to close it. You can still see that it's still sitting right there. Again, a very powerful feature that you don't have to purchase YouTube Premium for. So let's say that we go back inside of here, and I guess it's gonna be the same thing with Spotify. So if you go to like spotify.com or any other website or whatever that has media players, this is how you're able to play it in the background. Now let's say that you wanna try it with YouTube Music. Now, because I don't wanna get copyright stricken, I'm gonna turn this down. I'm gonna hit on play. Uh, let's see here. I'm gonna go right over here. So it's playing the song right now, and this is YouTube Music, which YouTube Music is what I use. I don't use Spotify or any of those other ones. Again, I swipe up and it's still gonna be playing. So now I'm listening to my YouTube music in the background again, which is one of the biggest perks of having premium. So I hit the power button or the side key. You can still see it's right there, working as if normal, as if I had my YouTube music right over here. This is exactly what it looks like. I'm able to go through and listen to this music. And again, it's still all playing in the background. I'm not gonna turn it up just because of copyright reasons and you guys should know that. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this one right back down, hit on pause, and that is everything that I wanted to show in this video today. I wanted to show you that first off, there is an application that you can merge all your emails into one application. You can have them all show together. You can have them all show independently. You can choose either email to show or whatever, and then you have all of those swiping uh, actions. And then also when it comes down over into Samsung internet and Samsung internet beta, so you know exactly the difference between the two, you know where you can get Samsung internet beta if you would like, it'll be a link below the video inside the description, takes you to apkmirror.com. These are all filtered to only Samsung you know, applications. When you take a look at Samsung internet browser, which was the one I showed today that is stock on your phone, you can see that the auto close of unused apps was added in and also the newly updated grid style. I know somebody wrote a comment in one of my videos that said the grid style was already there, but I'm talking about the updated version of the grid style, which is the better version looking like this, rather than it technically being like a grid that was being stacked. So it's kind of like this, but it was, you know, these open tabs and it just went up and up and up and it was not fun. This is what grid is, which is basically the two by two by two and it just keeps going on and on and on. So that is everything I wanted to share in today's video. Hopefully you guys have appreciated those super powerful tricks or features inside of these two powerful Samsung applications, which is Samsung internet and then also Samsung email. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.